I've become aware over a number of years of the damage that heroin is doing to our society in Cleveland. I want to do something to tackle that problem because I want to see a better deal, not only for the people who are addicted to heroin, whose lives are at risk, but for our wider communities, for the businesses, the residents, and for all the agencies and organisations that work here. Previous trials using um, heroin assisted treatment or injectable opioid treatment have been very clinical in their approach. We've got a real recovery focus so we're able to work with partner agencies when patients are stabilised to start to address the other issues that may be happening in their lives. Um, patients will be assessed for suitability to take the medication and then brought down to the injecting room. Reduce the risk of diversion, there will be no coats or bags brought into the injecting room so patients can store personal belongings within one of the uh, lockers that we have here. Once they've stored the belongings, they'll take a seat at one of the booths where they will um, be prepared for the self-administration of the medication. In, in preparation to self-administer the dimorphine, patients will receive a um, kidney bowl with a range of once-use only um, equipment. They would have alcohol swabs to clean the area pre-injection, a tourniquet to um, support blood flow or restrict blood flow. Um, they would receive the syringe which would have the dimorphine in at the correct dose. This would be labelled for the right patient. Um, and they would have cotton buds and a plaster if required for post-injection. So once the self-administration is complete, then the needle will be disposed of in the sharps bin. So after self-administration, um, patients will move into the consulting rooms where they can meet with partner agencies to explore some of their uh, social issues. So when the chaos of substance use is stabilised through the programme, um, patients will be supported to engage with partner agencies. They'll work with a care coordination team who will um, look at a comprehensive care plan for each individual. They'll get support from providers of housing, they'll get support from mental health teams and in essence we'll be looking at all the areas of an individual's life and um, starting to support them to rebuild as they work towards a meaningful recovery. I've been uh, around the world to explore some of these treatment options and have seen the success of such programmes in Switzerland and in Canada where, where I've witnessed individuals really turn their lives around from being high crime causing very poorly individuals to being recognised and welcomed members of the community. What I hope to achieve is that people will stop losing their lives, people will get their lives back on track. Um, our local agencies will come together and give that support that's necessary. I think our local communities and local businesses will welcome that as, as time progresses. But perhaps most important of all, we want the rest of the country to see the good work that's going on, particularly government departments and national agencies. I think we will make this work in Cleveland. This is a pilot project. We want that to be rolled out further across the Cleveland area and across the country.